doing a bowl firing tonight. I got my dried willow underneath and a bunch of bowls stacked, one refire of a different clay and some pine cedar around the outside. And I'm gonna cover it all with cedar and light it up tonight. All right, so I got the fire started and a whole bunch of wood just piled up over the top of the pots. And the smoke exits out that way, that little hole in the back. And then out through a big chimney, it's all full of spark arresters. This whole room is a giant spark arrestor and there's another chimney there. And a little bit of smoke comes out the door. I start it towards the back so it burns a little slower. Got some palm on there to get it started. Fire is starting to get going now. It burns for about oh, a good hour and then just kind of dissipates off or close the door. Once the main part of the wood burns, it just let it burn itself out through the night. It's getting pretty hot in there now. Things are starting to glow. See the bowls in there. They're still a little bit dull, but they'll be getting a little hotter. This is basically a fire containment room, a small one. That way I can shut the door on this if I need to, if the wind comes up or rain happens. Keeps things safe. All right, one last look. Things is getting hot in there. Hot as I want them to get, otherwise the pots start melting. Pretty low fire stuff that I use. Here's the next morning and everything is burned down. Looks pretty good. I have to take all the bowls out and see what we got. Blessing bowls this is what I use them for. All right, here are some of the bowls finished. Two different types of clay. Some with really nice fire clouds and some fire out kind of a plain orangey color. Part of a big order. Still have a bunch more to go. Pretty stuff though, I like that orange. And thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to Tony Soar's Native Clays or check me out on Instagram, Tony Soar's Pottery. And share these videos. Thank you.